Today is the first earthquake rally between Musalem Davadi, William Ruto, Moses Wetangula, or an extension Uda ANC and Fort Kenya parties that is supposed to be held at Nakuru, a thinking agricultural society showground, Thermal Trong. This is a very critical rally. I just wanted us to just shortly look at this rally. Why did they choose Nakuru? And what are some of the expectations in that rally? You know, some in this channel, we normally project what you can expect. They have actually called it the first earthquake rally. And it's going to give us a picture of what we should expect from this alliance in the next six months. Because sometimes when there is really difference between signing an agreement in the boardroom and even ratifying it in an NDC and actually displaying that agreement in public. And the point of display here is the political rally. So guys, I have been following out and uh, one thing I want to say is that despite of all the noises, the political uh, opinions are divided on how Mudavadi is going to work with Musalia, uh, rather on how Mudavadi is going to work with Ruto. But uh, may I ask a question? Did Tujibebe party leader, William Kabogo, find himself working with William Ruto in that alliance by coincidence? Or did he know whatever was going on? Because I even realized that yesterday there was a preparation, there was a press briefing in Nakuru where mostly pro Ruto MPs, uh, Oscar Sudi, Mandago, Susan Kihika, Kimani, Kimani, I think, Kimani Ngunjiri, were trying to address some issues prior to that meeting, and they also did some inspection in that place. So I want us to look deeply into this rally. Um, but one thing I also need to put clear here is, and I don't know whether you are also thinking about this, there have been this position by anti Mudavadi MPs from, sent from Western Kenya that he was given 300 million to build a house in Karen and towards the NDC, uh, William Ruto's team also contributed 27 million just to put up that National Delegates Conference. And that is why that Delegates Conference, the chief guest was William Samoy Ruto. Now, I don't know whether this is just a political narrative that has been peddled so that to portray William Ruto, uh, to portray Musalem Davadi as a selfish leader, or there is something substantive that someone can substantiate. This has really been propagated by Ayub Savula. And I saw that update that Rafael Tuju called Ayub Savula and told Ayub Savula about that revelation. So, but then guys, that was just an update. If you're new to this channel, take a second, subscribe, also like our video and also give us our feedback give us your feedback in terms of what you are you expecting today from the afraha stadium but first let us have a glimpse of what happened in preparation to the nakuru rally <laughs> Mnajua vile tulikuja hapa kama Jubilee back in 2013 na tukaanza safari na imetufikisha 10 years successfully na kazi imefanyika. Sasa the next level the next 10 years will be beginning tomorrow. Hapo ni sawa. Kwa hivyo nataka mtokee, mtokee kwa wingi, mwambie marafiki. There is one thing that I'm really keen to look at and just just before that let me say why they chose Nakuru. I think even Azimula Umoja started over in Nakuru. And even the William Ruto side agree that Nakuru is the bedrock of the Kenyan politics. Let me take you back to the memory line in 2012. 
the Ururuto merger was actually formalized on 2nd December in 2012. And the first stop where they first did Ilekushikana Mkoro, the handshake, was in Afraha Stadium. The famous photo that you see, actually even the first photo shoot that Uhuru and Ruto did, they did it in Afraha Stadium as they were marching towards March 4th general election. So I think strategically they are also picking that because we are also going to see another show of unity and the picture that William Ruto side and the campaign strategy team are they going to show the face of betrayal that Uhuru Kenyatta betrayed um, William Ruto and that is how William Ruto went from Salem Davadi. So when we see that handshake, I think to the minds of Jubilee supporters in the ones who are going to follow this rally, the minds of Jubilee supporters in Nakuru will rekindle back to 2012. And someone who attended the 2012 rally and will attend this rally will actually see the difference. And will see really that William Ruto is not now in cognizance, uh, is not in, in agreement with President Uhuru Kenyatta. So that is why they actually chose that rally. Now, sadly enough, Afraha Stadium was under construction and they could not be in a position to use it. Um, so what to expect here? First, we are going to, uh, they're going to use this rally to receive defectors from other parties who are joining the new alliance. Now, this is something that I need to put out very clear. And we need to, you need to give credit to its deal. As much as the leaders from Western Kenya who are feeling angry with Musalem Davadi's move, but there are still elements there. Whatever that Musalem Davadi's move, move is a thin balance. But if you ask me, he has gained more than if he was in Oka because uh, now his stakes are high. Mudavadi has been trending for the last three days, I think since Friday, since, since he mentioned the word earthquake, Mudavadi has been trending. And even back in their community, there are also people who are feeling like, you know, that Mudavadi now are reanalyzing himself. Secondly, he's getting now to come out of the boardroom meetings and now being seen in the public rallies. I think he didn't even have resources to do these campaigns. So there are some leaders that are also going to defect from other parties to join and they are going to be actually uh, involved there. Uh, there was a rumor that I still don't want to confirm uh, that there is a powerful um, there is a powerful cabinet secretary that is going to join the Uda rally in Akuru and also a powerful politician from Western Kenya that is also going to jump ship and follow Musalia Mdavari. So that is one thing I expect there. Now, second thing I expect is we're going to see the way they are going to share airtime in terms of speeches. And I'm really looking that one very critical because Uda has many leaders compared to UD, uh, compared to ANC and Ford Kenya merged together. Uda has many leaders there. And so we're going to look at how, you know, if, if, if the if majority of the speakers are going from Uda's side, then I can tell you, which is going to be the case, I can tell you that Musalem David is also going to see the, the, the show of might, the show of party strength is going to be at play at that rally. I don't see Musalem David having many leaders there. And that is going to be seen very key. Uh, another thing that I'm also looking at is how William Ruto is going to increase the stake of the Central Kenya MPs he's having in that rally when he's actually joining, when he's joined by William Ruto and Moses Wetangula. Uh, but he's joined by uh, Wetangula and and, um, and, 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 and and Mdavadi. I saw a post and I think the post has been online where there is just Mdavadi on the other side, uh, Uruin and Bruto, Mdavadi Huku, then Moses Otangola. If that moves on, if that poster is, that is how they are going to images their rallies, then I can tell you that that poster is going to be circulated online by the other uh, competitors to show that Central Kenya 
have actually been excluded from the other issues. So that is that is one thing. I think that is also a problem. But uh, William Ruto is also very keen not to send speculation because if you put the poster of whoever you put his poster from Central Kenya, if you put Anwar Guru or if you put together Gashagwa in that poster, it can also show that you have already chosen your running mate from that place. So that is why um, it's a little bit delicate for William Ruto also to come out clearly and put there. So we're going to look at the order of speech. Yeah? Who is going to speak before William Ruto? I think William Ruto is going to speak last. So we are going to look at who is this central Kenya MP or leader who is going to speak between before William Ruto or after Musalem Dovadi. And we see the order of that speech and also the master of ceremony. Now, lastly, we are also be on the lookout for the way the messaging that they're going to put out. Now, now that Musalem Dovadi is a presidential candidate and ANC have insisted that he's going for presidency, um, Uda also have a presidential candidate in the name of Musalem Dovadi. Both of them are contenders. Now, when they are in a rally and they are, have joint rallies, how are they campaigning? Will each one of them talk about, I am vying, I am vying? Now, will someone be talking about when I get to State House or they will be having joint manifestos? Remember, I, I, I have already seen the way they are imaging it. There is Hustler Nation, Uchumibora, Kazinikazi. So if you look at it, Hustler Nation, Kazinikazi, all those are slogans for UDA. But I think now ANC is coming, off, is coming up with Uchumibora. So how does it, how, how is it going to work? Uh, is someone going to say, is Musalem Davari going to campaign for William Ruto while in Nakuru? So that when they go to Western then, um, or rather, let me say that Ruta is going to campaign for Musale in Akuru. Then when they go to Bungoma on Friday, then Musale is going to campaign for William Ruto. How they are going to position their, their messaging is very key. It's going to show us really whether they are really presidential candidates or that's just being played for the gallery. But behind the scenes, they have already stacked deal in terms of how uh, they are going to share position so that someone really insubordinates the other person. Lastly, um, I think they might use that rally and expect this to give us a glimpse of their power sharing deal, what they stand to gain. Really, uh, that, that, that is really an intimate, although there is still a technical team that is working on that, but I think from the rally you can just look at it. You're just going to look at the mood and also I'm, I'm also going to look at whether Musalem Davide is going to continue with his charms and his attacks on President Uhuru Kenyatta. Be look at for that comparing to the speech that he held on Sunday or now uh, he's going to tone down and whether that is going to the brand of politics that is now going to continue doing. So guys also get to ask and tell us what are some of the things that you're looking out from Salem Davadi uh, or maybe you're looking out in that rally. What do you expect? Get to ask and tell us so that after that rally we shall come back here and try to fact check and just try to tell you what we really observed and what we're expecting vis-a-vis -vis what we saw uh, in the rally.